Hello, it's James from So Make It, the Southampton Makerspace. Woo! And other James, also from So Make It, Southampton Makerspace. This is a video about our new laser cutter, Mr. Laser. Uh, firstly, we'd like to thank all of the people that donated money and Draper Tools, who donated us an air extraction system. All right, let's have a look at the machine. This is a Epilogue Legend 36X 75 watt CO2 laser cutter. So laser cutters are awesome because they let you cut flat sheets of material very accurately, very quickly, and all you need to do is draw the thing on the computer, uh, sense the laser cutter, and away it goes. You can cut up to about one centimeter of wood or acrylic, um, and yeah, it's really pretty quick. So this is Inkscape. Um, we're gonna make ourselves a little uh, box. So we've used a box generating website to create the net and then cut these lines Oh, sorry, added these lines in Inkscape so the laser will cut the box and not just give us a solid block of wood that would be a bit useless. We've now uh, got our file, we're going to print our file. So the laser cutter just presents itself to the computer as a standard printer. Um, and you click on the print, click on properties, and you get all your settings here, setting the speed, power, frequency of the laser. So we can just press print and away it goes. our extractor that was donated by Draper Tools. Here it goes. Okay, so we're done, so we'll just pull it out and uh, probably the all four bits. So the reason there's all these gaps is because this is incredibly cheap supply we just happen to have lying around to demonstrate this. But you can see, once it's glued together, we'll have a little box. It slots together nicely. Ta-da! So the laser is an expensive piece of kit, so we've set up a training program so only trained people can use it with a laser trainer like James. And that costs 20 pounds and it's 20 pence a minute after that for cutting and all that money's ring fenced to go back towards paying for the consumables like uh, tube, tube regassing and the mirrors and things like that so we can keep the laser running for the space. Uh, we have a rotary cutter that lets you um, etch things which are round like glass. Here's a map that's been cut using Ordnance Survey topogra topographical data. Uh, Snowden Mountain Range. This is a Snowden Mountain and you can see the train tracks been etched in going up past Cribgok to the top of Snowden. Here are some various examples of things made by members so far by both cutting and engraving on a variety of materials. So it's really important you do not laser PVC because you generate some kind of chlorine gas which is bad news I hear. Uh, reflective stuff tends to bounce the laser back into the lens and everything and polycarbonate burns like you wouldn't believe. Thank you for watching our laser video. If you'd like to join Southampton Makerspace have a look at somakeit.org.uk and you can find out more details. Alright that's all for now.